Hello, Cold Like Ice fans. Welcome to Game 3 of the NHBHL Playoffs. This is Game 3 between the Killin' Wee Kings and the Cold Lake Ice. As you all heard, the Cold Lake Ice and the Killin' Wee Kings split the first two games down in Killam. So Killam won Game 1 by a foul score of 4-2. And the Cold Lake Ice scored a late goal thanks to Austin State. With, the, with just over a minute left to even the series. And now we are t all squared up heading into Cold Lake. As you can tell, the boys are just ready to take the ice. This should be a good mat. This should be a good playoff series between the Kill Me Kings and the Cold Lake Ice. Fans got the rally towels out, and we are ready for support. There's the Killin' Me Kings as they just edge the ice. Here come the... As this game is... Getting intense. I will step aside for a sec, folks, for the playing of O Canada. The vote on the second team all star, Noah Cook. Oh, 
Hockey fans, welcome to the Imperial Oil Place Arena tonight. It's game three of the NHL playoffs between the Cold Lake Ice and the Killam Weekings. Both teams split the first two games down in Killam. Cold Lake Ice trying to take a two games to one lead. We'll red roll up the red carpet real quick and we'll get ready for some hockey. Get the net put into place. And we're ready for some action. Once again, I'm Carter Simpson, coming to you live from the Place Arena tonight here at Cold Lake. This is my second year broadcasting for the Cold Lake Ice. Arms are up from the ref. The puck is dropped, and we are underway for game three. Noah Cook takes the puck, and will fire the puck deep into the zone. Hudson now loses the puck. There, the puck is shot around the boards there by the Wheat Kings. As I am just going to start learning this uh, kill him lineup here. Noah Cook now shoots, and the puck goes wide. Back to get there is number 12, Dalton Zemanek for the Kilm Wheat Kings. Pass is picked off there by Noah Cook. Zemanek now gets stick checked and he'll end up on the stick there of Ashton Cookson. Cookison. Here's Zemanek now with the puck. Dropping back, Outlet to intercepts the puck and he'll skate it in behind the net. Zemanek now gets knocked off the puck. Pick up there, Ashley Kelly now. Puck is thrown towards the net. Puck is centered there. Another chance at the side edge of the net. And somehow that did not go in. Here's Kintel now. He'll just lob the puck out to center. Pick it up there. Take it back there is Carter Burton. A lot of intercepts. Here's Jaden Williams now. Goes cross ice there for Denny Kintel. Kintel to Williams. Gets lifted off the puck there by Kobe Charchin. Puck is thrown towards the net. And here goes Shankowski now. He'll lead on a one on two the other way. Shankowski now tries to weave his way in, but he is stick checked at the last second. Alette now gets the puck, tries to throw it in front. Shankowski has his pocket picked there by Carter Ortman. Here's Carter Burton now at the puck. Puck is lobbed out. Though. Out there, knocked down there by Jaden Williams. Alette picks up the puck. He'll give it back to Lewis. Lewis now will lob the puck out to center. Puck is knocked down. Brunette now tries to get the puck away, and that was intercepted. And here's Brunette now at the puck. Brunette cross across. Oh, my goodness. And how did that not go in? Stansky now shoots. Or, pardon me, that was uh, Logan Carr. Yeah, that was Logan Carr who got the shot away. Come 
Balfour on the ball. And we have a stoppage of play as the puck was frozen along the boards. Face off one back there for the Cold Lake Ice. Picked up there by Caleb Burnett. He'll flip up ahead there for Devin McCormick. He was cut off there by Grant Lines. Back to enter there is Noah Cook. He gets tied up. Shot taken there by James Down. That goes wide of the cage. Here's Tyler Smith now. Smith shoots. Puck to flex wide. Like a shot in the zone there by Braden Davis. Matt Hemwood will play it. In behind there for Callaway. So let's beat your starting goaltenders. So Killam will go with Braden. Brandon Davis will start in net for the Killam Wheat Kings. And Matt Hemwood is in net for your Cold Lake Ice. That'll be the head to head matchup tonight. Buck is tipped in the zone there by. Number 22, Landon Eskra, and that will be covered up there by Matt Hemwood. Face off one back there for the Weekings. Played down low there for number 18, Chase. Skrakowski, but he could not, but he shoots that over top of the net. Or correct, correct me, that was number 19. Who shot that over that? And a puck is covered up there by Brandon Davis, and he will hold on to that. Just uh, just under four minutes have passed here in this first period of play. No score yet between your Cold Lake Heist and the Killam Week Kings. Ashton Cookson, Cookson now will try and get the puck out. Unable to do so. Puck was swept back in there by Mason Stabler. Cookson now with the puck. Puck is still held in there, load, held in there by Logan Carr. Cookson now a battle for along the wall. Puck is freed out and... And fired back out to center. Lewis now will take the puck and fire it back in deep. Back to get there for the Kill Me Kings is number 15, Cookson. Ashley Cookson now will fire the puck in and the play is stopped on an offside. Face off inside the outside the Cold Lake Ice territory. It's picked up there by number 23, Carter Burton now. He'll try and get the shot away, unable to do so. Burton now tries to get the shot away, and that pass, and that shot was broken up there. Here's Tim Lines now behind the net. Jam away for it at the side of the net, and the puck is still loose. Carter Ortman now. They'll get it free there for Carter Burton. Ortman now backhands it towards the net. Here's the pass. Burton tries to put the pass out there for Ortman, and, and the puck is still held in. Cold Lake Heights cannot clear the zone. Shot taken there by number 20, Kobe. Charge in, and that stayed out of the net. Puck is thrown in front. What a stop! That would be an easy slam dunk, but Matt Hamlin says no thank you as he flashes the leather. Man, oh man, Matt Hamlin has been solid in net for the Cold Lake Ice. And Ortman wanted that goal back. Shot deflected and Matt Hamlin says I'll take this and I'll hang on.
Scram for it off the faceoff. Can tell with the puck. Can tell will try to lob this puck out center. And it's a two on one. McCormick with down. James down. Pass to McCormick. Oh, he just missed it. What a play there by McCormick as he goes cross ice there for James down. And he just cannot quite get a stick on it. Puck is thrown towards that there by Jaden Williams, and that goes wide. Good start to this playoff game for sure. And no icing on the play, so Cattell will go after it. As he's watched there, closely there by Brendan Davis. And a penalty coming up to the Cold Lake Ice. Interference the call, and the Cold Lake Ice, or in the Kill Me Kings, will have their first power play of the game as Cattell will head off for interference. Face off coming inside the Cold Lake Ice zone. Ortman now scrambles for it and Kill him looking step on the power play. Nice stick there by Mason Stabler as he was the, able to get a stick into the into the forward and knock it down the ice. This penalty kill is financed by Lakeland Credit Union. Buck stuffed in there by Cole Froster. Ortman now battles forward against Noah Cook. Ortman being watched there by Tyler Smith. Could go up top there for Derek Zimmer. Back to Ortman. Ortman shot and that was blocked there by Tyler Smith. Here's a shot taken there by Zimmer and another block there by Justin Hudson and he fires the puck down the ice. Twelve thirty left to go here in this first period of play. Cold like ice. And the Kill Me King still nodded at no score. And here's a chance now for Mark Alette. Alette's got room. Alette shoots and he rang it off the post. Good shorthanded scoring chance there for Alette. As he clanked one on the off the inside of the post, and you can hear that all the way from the broadcast booth. Puck is dumped into the zone. About to get there is Ashley Kelly and we will have a face-off. Looks like coming down inside the Kill Me King zone. Twelve oh one left to go here in this first period of play. No score yet. Thirty seconds left to go in the power play for the Kill Me Kings. Nice play there by. Kobe Charchin able to defend off the defender there. Puck is dumped in the zone. Here's Ortman now. Carter Ortman now up top. Therefore, number 11, Tim Lines. And Matt Hamlet saw that all the way, and he will snag it and hold on. With 14 seconds, let's go here in the penalty. Did any can tell? Here's Noah Cook now. He'll fire the puck off the boards, and it just squeaks past Cole Froster, and he'll have to go back and get it. And that will do it for the penalty kill. So the Cold Lake Heights have killed it off. Kill them are now 0 for 1 on the power penalty power play so far. Here's Carter Burton now. What a move by Burton. Shot, and Matt Hamlin fights that off. Tim Lines now. He'll give it there for Ashton Cookson. Here's Carter Ortman now with the puck. Ortman fires it, and that is picked off there by Dan McCormick. That comes the Killing Wee Kings. Burton now with the puck. Drop it down low there for Kobe Charchin. And a nice and a good hit there on the boards. Play continues. Jaden Williams takes his man into the boards. Jaden Fry will go after the puck. Stop on the puck there. Puck is thrown towards the net. Puck is shot off the glass and out to center.
Here's Ashton Kelly now. Pass is intercepted there by Dalton Zimmer. Fuck is throwing towards the net. Tanak goes right through the open crease. Here's a shot taken there, and that was blocked as Grant Lines tried to put that through. That was blocked before it can make it through. Lines now. Shoots, and again, deflected wide. Kelly King's coming on with some serious pressure here, trying to open up the scoring. Puck is thrown in front, and nice stick there by Danny Cattell, and the puck will head back the other way. Here's Alet now. Tries to get around Lines, and a nice defensive play there. And the Colder Kites will have to clear the zone. That was touch, and that will be icing. Media timeout, 9.33. Let's go here in this first period point. No score yet between the Kill and Kings and the Colder Kites. As we'll be back in just a sec. You are watching Colder Kites TV. Resume first period of play here in this first period. No score yet. 9 0 Let's go in this first period of play. May Stalver tries to sweep it in deep. That was blocked before it could get deep into the zone. Noah Cook now at the puck. Laid up ahead there for Mason Stabler. Here's Hudson now with the shots. And that was blocked there. Good stick there by number 11, Tim Lines. And the puck is just held in at the blue line. Sabler, up top for Tyler Stiff shoots. Puck is knocked down. Dangerous scoring chance there for the Cold Lake Ice. Burnett lines up in the faceoff circle against Carter Ortman. Tyler Swift now gives it to Noah Cook. In the slot there from McCormick, shoots, and that goes over top of the cage. Tyler Swift now shoots, and a pad save there by Brendan Davison. He fights that off. Kolek is coming, off with some, coming out with some serious pressure now. Noah Cook with a spin move. Down low there for Burnett. Burnett serves the front. Oh my goodness. What a save. And back come the other way. Come the Wheat Kings. Ortman now. Shoot the puck in. And he gets knocked down there by Noah Cook. Puck is flicked up and it went to one of the team's bench. I don't know if it was the Wheat Kings or the Cole Ice bench. Bow four off the face off. Can tell now we'll shoot it around the boards to Mason Stabler. Stabler. Hudson will just shoot it in. He'll dump it behind the net there for Ashley Cookson. Here's Justin Hudson now. Pass is intercepted. Jay Williams now back on the puck out to center. Here's Stabler now. Stabler trying to shoot. He'll shoot. And what a glove save there by Brandon Davis. And he'll hold on to that. Callaway now, skate behind the net. Puck is thrown in the front, and 
intercepted there, and here comes Ashley Kelly now. Kelly had the pass intercepted. Puck is knocked out to center. Puck is tipped up ahead there by number 19. Logan Carr now will fire the puck around the boards. Pass is intercepted there by number 28, Chad Bonnet. Bonnet now will shoot, and Matt Hamlin will easily cover that up. Face off coming inside. Kill me King's territory. Noah Cook now will take the puck and he'll skate it back out to center. Why Cook now will tip the puck in the zone. Back comes Derek Zimmer now. Zimmer shoots not was blocked there by Cook. Puck is dumped back in the zone. Back to get there is Tyler Swift. 6.35. Let's go here in this First player to play, no score yet between the Wheat Kings and the Cold Lake Ice. And that will be offside at the blue line. Grab Ford off the faceoff. Here's Burnett now. Drops it back for James Dowd. Shoots and a blocker save there by Brandon Davis. Jane Williams now holds the puck in the zone. He'll fire the puck in deep. Bonnet now gets tied up and here's Carter Burton now. He'll skate the puck out. Burton. He'll just carry this puck up ahead. Carter Burton now shoots and that was blocked before he can make it through. Puck is held in there. By Brennan Eric, and the second opportunity comes out. Can tell now. Lob that puck up ahead, and here is Cutter Burton. Ortman now in behind the net. Here's Ortman. Circles the play. Ortman up top. Here's Ortman. And the puck will skip. Out to center, Tim Lines. Had the puck knocked, had the puck off, knock off his stick. Tim Lines now with the puck. It'll go up ahead there for Landon Erska. Erska tries to get the shot away. And shot, they score! Landon Eskra snaps the pass, man at Hemwood through the arm. And Imperial Oil Place Arena shot. As the Killing Week Kings lead one nothing. Bad turnover in the zone for the Cole Kais. Eskra made them pay, and with 5.04 left to go here in this first pair to play, Killam has the game's first goal. Tyler Smith now with the puck. That goal coming at 5.04. Here's Tyler Smith now with the puck. Go up ahead there for Justin Hudson. Here's Stabler now. And here's a chance here for the Killing Week Kings. Dalton Zimmer now. Across ice and one timer there by number 19. And how did that miss the net? And we have a stoppage in play as Matt Hamlin lost his blocker. My goodness. Kill him that close to making a two goal lead. Lennon Eskra. Eskra getting the goal for the Kill Meat Kings. That goal coming at 5.04. Shot taken there from the point. Kicked out there by Matt Hemwood. Puck is dumped in the zone, and this is going to be icing against the Coldick Ice. 
Uh oh, we got some more shoving here. Nathan Duff. And Dalton Zemanek having some words for one another. Face off is coming all the way back inside. Cold Lake Heist territory. Face off one there by the Wheat Kings. Puck is thrown towards the slot. Ortman tries to get it. And uh, oh, that's a bad hit. That's a bad hit. And can tell head off to the box. Looks like it's gonna be for cross checking. So the Kill Me Kings are gonna go to their second power play of the game. <laughs> second power play of the game for the Kill Me Kings. Ortman now. Scrounge for it off the face off. Here's Kobe Charchin with the puck. Cole Froster now. Now to Charchin. Here's Burton. Gives it to Charchin. This penalty kill is financed by Lakeline Credit Union. Shot taken the slot. Ortman now shoots and the puck goes over top of the net. Danger scoring chance there for the Kill Me Kings on that power play. Ortman now behind the net. Out in front there. And a score! The Wee Kings get another one. Kobe Charchin. The man there, and the Kill Me Kings lead 2 nothing. Nice play there by Kobe, by Carter Burton in behind the net. And the puck squeaks through Matt Hemwood's arm. And with 3.32 left, the Kill Me Kings have silenced Imperial Oil Place Arena. Nice sharp angle shot there by... Colby Charchin. And, he, and now we have power play goals, so the Kill Me Kings are one for two on the power play. Colby Kais do have, Colby Kais have got some work to do, and a penalty coming up. Looks like it's going to be charging. There'll be number 17 going off, but don't have the scorecard here, so I'll have to figure out who number 17 is on the Cold Lake Ice. This power play is energized by electric services, and Killam will just do the first thing and fire it down 200 feet. 3.04, let's go here in this. First period of play. Killen leads 2 0. Call the Kais on the power play as they are looking to get back in this game. So Kobe Charchin gets the goal. Carter Burton will get the assist at 332. Here's a, cha here's a chance there for Y Cook trying to get the puck out. Here's Y Cook now. Call the Kais trying to step here on the power play. Cook. Down low to Wyatt. Wyatt Cook now with the puck. And that's steeled away there by Burton, but nice play there by Mark Hallett to hold the puck in. Here is Noah Cook. Cook shoots, and that was blocked for it can make it through. Hallett now with the puck. Gives it to Shinkowski. Shinkowski in front for Cook. Shoots, and there, big rebound there. And it's held in there by Mason Stabler. Kill him, can't clear. Shot taken there, blocked there by Carter Burton, and the puck will skip out to center. One forty-five. Let's go here in this first period of play. Foul for along the wall. James down now at the puck. 
Down up top there for Noah Cook. Cook cross ice there for Stabler. Stabler shoots. Look, loose puck in the crease. And it's cleared there by Carter Ortman, and that will do it. So the Cold Lake Ice are 0 for 1 on the power play. 1.15 left to go here in this first period of play. Last minute of play here in this first period of play. Here's Jane Fry picking up the puck. Intercepted there by Carter Ortman. He takes a shot and that goes high over top of the cage. Pretty good crowd tonight here at the Imperial Oil Place Arena. Everyone trying to rally their team to victory. Shot taken there by Brendan Eric, and that rang off the pike, and you can just hear it all the way up from the broadcast booth here, folks. 30 seconds left to go here in this second, first period of play. Here's a shot taken there. I right, number 26 at an easy save there by Matt Hemwood. Final 10 seconds of play here. Cole Heist will trying to freeze it. And that will do it. So the score after one period of play. The Cold Lake Heist are trailing the Killing Me Kings by a score of 2 0. Goal scorers in that first period of play. Cold Lake Heist 0, Me Kings 2. Shots on goal, Cold Lake 9, and Killing 15. Goal scorers in that first period of play for the Killing Me Kings. And don't forget to enter the Canadian Fire Truck Club competition tonight. As it was uh, Carburton and Colby Charchin getting the goals for the Kilmey Kings. So there's your goal scores. That's one period of play. Also, I will give you some NHL scores since we are live feeding. So if you're an Oilers fan, the Evan Oilers beat the Carolina Hurricanes 4 3 in overtime. Josh Archibald, two goals, especially the overtime winner. Dallas and Ottawa tied at two right now. New Jersey leads the Columbus Blue Jackets 3-2 with 11.40 left. St. Louis and Nashville currently tied 1-1, 13.30 left. Toronto and Buffalo tied 0-0. Some finals. Pittsburgh beat Detroit 5-1. Boston knocks off the New York Rangers 3-1. And the Anaheim Ducks knocking off the Vancouver Ducks 5-1. And a later game, 6.30, will be Winnipeg and Chicago. So those are all your NHL scores. Once again, I'm Carl Simpson. Thank you very much for tuning into this first period between the Cold Lake Ice and the Kill Me Kings. Don't go away, as the second period will be next.
But this show proper in the song. Hit it, Chris.
I do that in a group of co workers. Join an OBCF for the junior rehab. And for the Jada, we changed their town for it. The co worker I still believe my story, but I have a good five straight new championships. This year, the ice is playing their 20th season. But how do you measure 20 kids? Is it the number of games played? Games won? The gold score? Or is it the number of penalties? We see a lot of those. We think it goes to the We think it goes to the top. In celebrations. In violence. In I'm listening to you call the game. We measure it in skates. We measure it in the box. 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 We measure it in the but most of all, we measure it with people who come together for their dreams. Right. And the countless volunteer hours who fill the fields. Celebrity. And so I'm going to be here. We are telling their classes and the boys to the children who fall in love with them because they grew up watching. Do you have the name of where the kids started. came from? From uh, yeah, 18 and 3, Jane Williams. Jane Williams. Okay, and he's, so he's from the uh, Midget Devil AD. So here's a few and then we'll guys. Car. And he's from the Midget Devil 18 as well. And how about I'm third number 17? I don't know. Uh, you don't know where he came from? For Gillum? I have no idea. He was not on the lineup card or anything. Yeah. I came, we saw Killam play here like two weeks ago when he wasn't on the roster. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm watching a hockey. Oh, okay. And we are ready to go for the second period as the boys are taking taking the ice here. Two nothing for Killam after one period of play. Kolek is trying to get back in this game. I threw my mouth. And it looks like we're ready to resume play here in the second period. Kalem leads 2 0. Goldicott's got some work to do. No, Cook now will play back to Tyler Smith, and the second period is underway. Here's McCormick now. Gets bumped into the boards. Here's James Dowd. Dowd. Oh, and he takes a massive hit there from Ashton Kelly. Here's a chance here for Dalton Zamanek. Intercepting here is McCormick. McCormick now shoots and he rang it off the pipe. As the Cold Lake Ice, that's, the, that's like three goal posts already for the Cold Lake Ice. Unable to break through. <laughs> here's Cook now. 
up ahead there for Dan McCormick. Pass is knocked away, and here's Carter Burton, who has a power play goal tonight for the Killam Wee Kings. Wee Kings gained the zone now. Here's Orton now. Puts out in front, here's Lines. Shoots, and that was blocked. Another opportunity, and it's fought off there by Matt Hemwood. Here's Tim Lines now, shoots, and no rebound as Matt Hamlin will cover that up. Face off, one there by the Wee Kings. Took it out, here is here is Shankowski now. Shikowski circles the net. Kolakais need a spark right here. Foul fort. Here's a chance to front there for Shikowski, but he missed the puck. And here is Carter Orton now at the puck. Ortman now will just shoot the puck in the zone. Gives it to Carter Burton. Ortman now will give it to Burton. Here's Lewis. Cross to Jaden Williams. Puck is knocked out of the air, and the puck bounces right in front of the net. Matt Hamwood had to be careful there. He manages to keep the puck out. Here's Ortman now. Gives it there for Carter Burton. Here's Colby Charchin now. Picked off, and here's Jaden Williams now. And the stick is knocked out of his hand, and there's a penalty coming up to the Wee Kings. So the Kodak has to go to the second power play of the game. And Carter Burton will head off, so the Kodak Ice will have a chance here to get back in this game. James now line up in the face-off circle. Balfour off the face-off. One there by the Cold Lake Ice. As they go to work on the power play, here's Noah Cook now. Cook shoots, and that was blocked. Loose puck, and another opportunity to take it there, but that was blocked again. This power play is energized by electric services. Second power play for the Cold Lake Ice. Here's James Dow now. Dow shoots. And what a play there by Brandon Davis says. He wasn't sure if he had it. Ace is Dabler now at the puck. He will skate the puck back out to center. He'll dump it. He'll skate it into the Cold Lake Ice territory. Hudson Dow. Down low to Stabler. Here's James Dowd. Up top there for Hudson. Now to Cook. Cook. Back to Stabler. Stabler shoots and that was blocked there by Tim Lines. Ashton Kelly will do the rest and fire that thing down. Puck is dumped back into the Colic territory. Matt Hamill will freeze the puck. With the uh, Asta Kelly on the doorstep. Denny Cattell has the puck now and he'll skate the puck out to center. Up ahead there for Mark Alette. Alette now flies into the zone and he was angled off there by Tim Lines. Can tell cross ice there for Reese Lewis and that pocket shot wide. Balfour continues along the boards. Why Cook now trying to fight his way towards the net. Cook up top for Cantel. Download to Cook. Why Cook shoots his guy. And the call
as Wyatt Cook. Gonna go to the replay here. What a shot there by Wyatt Cook. It's not a power play goal. And the Cola Kites are back in this game. And he goes over top of the glove of Brendan Davis. What a shot there by Wyatt Cook. And the Colton Kais get that much needed goal. And the crowd alive again here at Imperial Oil Place Arena. Here. Wyatt Cook gets the goal. Danny Cattell will get the assist. At 15-17. Here's chance for Jaden Fry now. He'll shoot the puck in an easy save there by Brennan Davis. Puck is backhanded in deep. Number 19 with the puck down. He'll just lob the puck in the air. Puck is skated into the zone there by Cole Forster. Puck is shot in the zone there by Nicole Kais. Back to it there is Ashton, Kel Ashton Kelly. Puck is over skating. Here's no Cook now at the puck. Balfort in the, in the play. Here's Lewis now. Gives it to Wyatt Cook. Aston Kelly now at the puck. A lot of bumping here. This is a turning into a rough game. Chance here for number 19. He'll just fire in the middle. I don't know where he was passing that to. Brendan Eric now. Shoot the puck in and no icing. Lone car now. Pick out the puck. Here's a chance for Carter Ortman now. He overskates now. Shot taken there and a pad saved there by Henwood. Puck is thrown towards the net and Puck is knocked away there at Henwood and McCormick now will. Take the puck out. Here's Jane Williams now with the puck. He'll skate it in behind the net. Puck is over skated. Just Hudson now. Puck hit the linesman. Here's Tim Lines. Lines will shoot the puck in the zone. Here's Hudson now, and he's like, he'll ha he has got a man with him. Just Hudson now shoots one. Jay Lewis, he goes crashing into the net. Oh my goodness. The puck was right there. Here's Stabler now. Up top there for Cook. Shoots and that was deflected wide. Stabler now. Up top there for Tyler Smith. Shoots and the puck just whistles wide. Had a collision there at center ice. Looks like three players gone down. Hudson. Throw to the middle. Intercepted there by... Fauna, and he'll shoot the puck in the zone, and it's going to be icing. So face off coming inside. Call the guy's territory, and...
Got four out the face off shot taken there, and that was knocked away. Buck is up in the zone there by number 18. Matt Hill now fired around the boards and a shot taken for the points there by Ashley Cookson, and the puck is shot wide. Here is Shankowski now. Tries to split the D, unable to do so. Here is Grant Lines now. He'll go after it. Puck is shot around the boards, the other side. Puck is held in. Puck is thrown towards net there by Derek Zimmer, and no one was there. Bucket shot in the zone. Here goes Reese Lewis now. Picked up there by number 18, Chase Skitchow. He'll shoot the puck in the zone, and puck is still puck comes out of the zone out to center. Here is a chance here for Shikowski. Shikowski gets bumped off the puck. We kick a scar to charge, hopefully start charge here and Puck is shot back in the zone there by the Killing Wee Kings. Here's the quarterback up ahead there for Brunette. Okay, the Brunette now stops. And oh my goodness, he gets ran over there by Dalton Zemanek. And another hit there for Denny Cantel. Couple of big hits. Puck is tipped in there by Burton. Burton now will rifle the puck around the boards and that is offside at the blue line. So we're going to need a timeout. 9-3-1. Let's go here in this sec period of play as I'll step aside for the media timeout. Score right now is 2-1 for Killam in the second period. Wyatt Cook has the only goal in the second on the power play. And that's a reset right now. 9-31, let's go here in the second period. Here's Lines now. Gives it to Burton. Burton will give it there for... Brendan Eric and the puck is shot in the zone. And that is going to come back on an icing call. Strap for off the face off. Stabler now shoots. Rebound comes right there. It is picked up by the Killing Weekends. The three on two the other way. Here's Charchin out the puck. Burton now tries to center it. Blocked there by Noah Cook. And the puck is just held in at the line. Here's Burton now. Burton out front there for Ortman, and no one was home. Shot taken from the point. There from Brendan Eric. And an easy save there by Matt Hemwood. Scrabble forward out the face off.
to Aston Kelly now. Here's Stabler now. Gives it to Justin Hudson. Hudson. Off guard for a shot. Taking that rebound. Justin Hudson. Devin Hudson took a shot away, and the rebound was right there for Justin Hudson, and he shoots it over top of the net. 7.54. Let's go here in the second period. Fry takes a shot from a sharp angle, and it's fought off there by Brennan Davis. Here is uh, Spencer Callaway now. Carry the puck in the zone. Puck a shot back out there by number 17. Back to go after it is Landon Eskra. Who has a gold knight for Killam. And the puck is shot up and out of play. Here's Wyatt Cook now. He'll fire the puck out to center. Cole Forster now. We'll get it. Puck a shot in the zone. There by Brady Davis. And here is Tyler Shinkowski now. Shinkowski now. Shoot, send a glove save there by Davis, and he will hold on to the puck. Scroll for off the face off. Wyatt Cook now at the puck. Here's Burton now. Picked up there by Brunette, and he lost the handle of it. Tyler Smith now. Go up ahead there for Wyatt Cook. Here's Alette now in the zone. Alette tries for Wyatt Cook. Shoots, and the puck goes over top of the net. Here is Burton now. No icing on the play. Here is uh, Shinkowski now. 5.52 left to go here in this second period. Here is Carter Ortman now. And the pass misses everybody and back come the Cold Lake Ice. Here's a chance for McCormick and he is all tied up there by lines. Tim Lyons able to get his stick there. Here's McCormick. 5.30 left to go in the second period. Cook shoots and a glove saved there by Brady Davis and he will hold on. Our play by. All right, man. We have to remember first four times in this game. If you have ticket number 06866. When's this going to take? So your ticket number is going to be number five. If you have ticket number 6864. All right. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> we are ready to resume play here. In the second period, the Colda Kais. Back to the second period. And we have a power play, so the Colda Kais are already one for two in the power play. Why Cook scored earlier. Tim Lyons got two minutes for slashing. At 5.26, and the Colda Kais trying to draw even here. Five minutes exactly left to go here in the second period of play. Jankowski in the slot there for Wycook. Backhander, loose puck in the crease. The puck pops loose, but we have a whistle.
into the line. Let's grab for off the face off, and here's Alette now at the puck. And Artman now will just shoot the puck down the ice. Here is Mason Salver now, up ahead there for Tyler Shinkowski. Shinkowski with the puck. It's Danoa Cook. And he is bumped off the puck, and Stabler will have to reset on the power play. Still one minute left to work left for the Cold Lake Ice. Puck is shot in the zone there by Mark Collette. Brain Davis now will just shoot the puck around the boards, and Ortman will do the rest and shoot it down the ice. Here's Stabler now. Stabler into the zone. Cut wide, throws it towards the net, and no one was there. And here's a breakaway now for the Kill Me Kings. Here's number 19, Noah Cook, trying to catch him. And nice hustle there by Noah Cook as he was able to prevent a shot. 13 seconds, let's go here in the penalty to Tim Lyons for slashing. And this is going to come back on the icing call. Here's Noah Cook now with the puck. He will skate it into Cold Lake Ice territory. Cook drops it back there for Hudson and another offside call to blue line. Here's Cantel. Cross ice there for Jane Williams, and he'll shoot the puck in. Pick it up there for the Kill Me Kings. It's Grant Lines, and he will play it off the boards, and that skips past Jane Williams, but can tell right there to back him up as he fires the puck off the glass. Puck is shot in the zone there by the Wee Kings. Exactly three minutes left to go here in this second period of play. 2 1, Wee Kings lead. Being watched there by Hudson. Both of them battle for along the wall for the puck. Can tell now. Chips out of there, but back to get there is number 18. And he'll throw it to the slot. And Jane Williams, number 19, gets tied up. Puck is knocked back down. Puck is fired in there by Chad Bonnet, and he'll head off on a change. And Matt Hamlin will cover that up. Face off one there by the Kilo Meat Kings. Here's Carter Burton now. Burton down the other for Ortman. Ortman now to Burton. Burton trying to fend off Nathan Duff. Oh, for, for Ortman! Are you What a pass there for Carter Burton in behind that. He's going to get his second assist of the game. And the Killam Wee Kings have that two-goal lead back. As Ortman fires it past to Matt Hemwood, who had no chance. And the Wee Kings have their two-goal lead back with 1-4 left to go here in the second period. Wee. Puck is shot back in the zone there by Cole Forster. That's going to be his second assist of the game for Carter Burton. And Ortman with his first of the game. Shot taken there by number 18 that goes wide. So here's the, here's the goal. So Carter Ortman 
Carter Burton gets the goal or the assist at 140. Here is James down now with the puck with one minute exactly left to go here in this uh, second period of play. Here's McCormick now, shoots, and he fanned on the pass. And that will be icing against the Killing Week Kings with 52.6 seconds left on the clock. The game. Here's why Cook now shoots, and that was blocked. And here's Forrester now. Him and Cattell get tied up. Balfour along the wall. Pucks gets out to center. And here is Tim Lines. Puck is tipped in the zone. Cattell will go after it. 28 seconds. Let's go here in the second period. And Kolekais trying to make one more rush here with 15 seconds left to go. Schakowsky up ahead. And that, that play is going nowhere. Kill him looking to chew up the clock, and they will. They'll let the clock run out, so that will do it. So the score after two periods of play, the Kolekais trail to kill him, making 3 1. Second period of goals, Wyatt Cook getting the first goal of the playoffs at home for the Kolekais on the power play, and then Carter Ortman. Near the end of the first period, gave his team back the two-goal lead. I will, I will, as here we go, I will also do some scoreboard watching in the NHL. So here are some NHL scores right now. So here are the games that are final. The Edmonton Oilers won 4-3 over the Carolina Hurricanes in overtime. Josh Archibald, big game for him, getting two goals. Other games final, Pittsburgh beat Detroit 5-1. Boston knocking off New York 3-1. Vancouver losing over Anaheim 5-1. Ottawa knocking off Dallas 4-3 in overtime. New Jersey knocks off Columbus in a shootout. Nashville knocks off St. Louis 2-1. And here are the games that are currently still going on. Toronto trails Buffalo 2-1. And no score yet between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Winnipeg Jets. 11-43, let's go in that First period of play. That's all your NHL scores. As once again, I'm Carl Simpson. Thank you very much for tuning in to T into Cold Lake Ice TV for the second period. And we'll be back for the third period.
All right, folks, Razors in play here in the third period as the Cola Kais trail 3-1 against the Killam Wheat Kings. Cola Kais need a big rally here. Are in danger of going two games to one down in the series. Yeah. Face off one back there for the Kill Me Kings. Picked up there by number 25, Cole Froster, and he will fire the puck in the zone. Tyler Smith now will go off the boards. Puck is fired in the zone there by Zamanek. Tyler Smith now with the puck. With a wife full of puck around the boards. Puck is held in. Shot taken and it's kicked away there by Matt Hemwood. The shot taken and Matt Hemwood with an easy glove save. So you just can tell now he'll fire the puck around the boards. Shot taken there by Eric, Brennan Eric, and that puck stayed out. Here's Cantel. Cantel in behind his own net. And he lost his balance, and Pelly coming up to the Kill Em Week Kings. So Cola Kais with a huge opportunity here to get that, to get back in this game. Carter Burton going off, second penalty for him. The Cola Kais are one for two on the power play. We'll have another chance here with the man advantage. And here's a break. Here's a chance here for Carter Ortman. It's a short-eye breakaway. Shot taken there. Rebound. Ortman scores. Carter Ortman with the second goal. Of the game. And the Killam Wheat Kings will extend their lead to 4-1. So Tanner Eno is number 19 for the Killam Wheat Kings this evening. I officially have his number now. So Eno took the first shot and. Right place, right time for Carter Ortman. And the Wheat Kings will extend their lead to 4 1. Here is Cantel. Cantel will give it to Lewis. Lewis now with the puck. Lewis skates in the zone, shoots, and that puck whistles wide. Cole Kais are on the man advantage here, and Lewis lost his footing. So Carter Ortman gets the goal. Tanner Eno will get the assist at 18:46. Back to get there is Hudson. Eno on him. One minute left to go. This power play is energized by Electric Services. Shot taken there by Cantel. And that is stopped there by Brayden Davis. Brunette in the face-off circle. Against Charchin. Here is Noah Cook. Noah Cook goes back to James Dowd. Dowd shoots and the puck deflects wide. Puck a shot out of the zone there by the Kill Me Kings. Here is Tyler Smith now. Smith up ahead there for Noah Cook. Cook carries in the zone now. Cook shoots, he scores! Back. And now trail 4-2 is 
Let's go in the third period. From an impossible angle, what a shot there by Noah Cook as he picks the top right hand corner. And the Cola Kaiser back within two with 17 10. Let's go in this third period. Pass missed the card, Burton now, and Tyler Swift will beat him, and that will be icing against the Killing Wheat Kings. Face off one there, and Grant Lines will throw the puck up the boards. Noah Cook now with the puck. Balfour. Noah Cook will get the goal. Caleb Burnett will get the assist. At 17-17. Face off. Ortman now against Noah Cook. Wyatt Cook in the face off circle. Shot taken there and the puck is deflected wide. Here is Wyatt Cook now. Wyatt Cook skates into the zone. Here is Shinkowski. Shinkowski shoots, and that was blocked before he can make it through. Here's Wyatt Cook now at the puck. Tim Lines now will try and shoot the puck out, but it's intercepted there by Wyatt Cook. Both of the Cooks so far, Wyatt and Noah, have both goals tonight for the Cold Lake Ice. 16 minutes left to go here in the third period. Kolek Ice Trail, the Killing Meat Kings, 4 to 2. Here is Shankowski. Puck is dumped back in the zone. Matt Hammond will play it there for Jane Williams. Here is. Here's Carr now. Sh tries to fire that towards the net. Logan Carr put that right through the crease. Why Cook now? Give it to Justin Hudson. Tries to look for. A lot, and that was broken up neatly there. Here is Wyatt Cook now. Cook. Look at these moves. Backhand in the puck. Is backhanded just wide of the net there, and we have a stoppage in play. And it looks like, it looks like is it going to be offsetting minor penalties here? Looks like Tim Lines and Wyatt Cook both going off. So imagine it's going to stay 5 on 5, 15 13 left to go here in this third period of play. Here is uh, Mason Salver now shoots and a easy save there by, by Brendan Davis. So it looks like face off is one back there for the kill. We can't fucking shot back up to center. Reese Lewis will back in the fucking deep and offside at the blue line. So both players got two minutes of roughing after whistle, Tim Lines and Y Cook. So they'll both cool off in the penalty box and. We will resume play here. Five minutes have gone. Puck is dumped in the zone there by Dalton Zemanek. Mason Stabler now with the puck. Stabler up ahead there for Justin Hudson. Hudson. Tries to put the D, unable to do so. Zemanek will shoot the puck over top of Logan Carr's head. 
But back come the cold like ice. Here is Devin Hudson now. Gets rubbed out along the boards and and that's intercepted. Devin Hudson now will go after the puck. Both teams battle for it in the corner. Here is Tyler Smith. Cross ice there for Noah Cook. Cook shoots. That's a loose puck in the crease. And Brendan Davis will cover that up. Couple of good chats out of there for Devin Hudson, but he could not quite put it past Brendan Davis, and he will hold on to that. All right, man. Here's Noah Cook now, cross ice there for, for Tyler Smith and the puck is shot wide. Here is, puck is dumped into the zone there by Chad Bonnet. Go after the puck. And a penalty coming up here to the Cold Lake Ice. Touches it up and high sticking is the call. And it looks like it's going to be Tyler Smith going off. So Cole guys are going to be shorthanded here. That's Killing Kill Weekings looking to put the icing on top of the cake. And try and get a goal here to seal it. Cole Ice, crucial penalty kill. They want to keep it a two-goal game. Shot taken there by Ashton Cookson and an easy stop there by Matt Heaven and there is no rebound. Face off one there, puck is shot out of the zone there by James Down. He will shoot the puck into Killam territory. Back to get there is Cookson. Ashton Cookson with the puck. Up ahead there for 24 to Kelly and back to Cookson. Kelly now. Cross ice there for Tanner Eno. Eno with the puck. Puck in behind the net. Fox is throwing Fox back to the front. Backhander. Attempt there by Braden Davis and Matt Hill with a good pad save. Trying to keep his key team in this game. 12.45 left to go here in this third period. No Cook now will go after the puck. Here's a shot taken there by Derek Zimmer and the puck is deflected wide. Derek Zimmer again with the puck. Zimmer lets it go, and that was knocked away neatly there. Looks like by Reese Lewis. Nice job by him to get his stick in the way. 32 seconds, let's go. As this penalty kill is financed by Lakeline Credit Union. Here is Ortman now, who has two goals tonight. Shot taken there by Derek Zimmer, and the puck goes wide. Kill him doing a nice job cycling on this power play. And it just comes out. So the Cold Lake Ice can try and settle down this play here as they look, look to kill off the rest of this penalty, and they will. So kill them one for three on the power play. Both teams are one for three on the power play tonight. That was a crucial penalty kill as the Cold Lake Ice still in this game. Here is now a cook at the puck. Cook. Up ahead there for Logan Carr. We'll go up ahead there for Shinkowski. He gets cut off there by Grant Lines. Cantel intercepts the puck. Here is Logan Carr. Cross to Denny Cantel. Here's Bonnet now. He'll go off the boards. The puck comes out, and here's a chance here for the Wheat Kings. Here's Zimmer now. Walks right in. Oh! And he just slid that one wide. Here's Zimmer now shooting, and the puck hits the outside of the net. Cole Killam bringing on some pressure right now. 
Aston Kelly now shoots and the puck didn't make it through. Kolakai is still having trouble clearing the zone. Puck is backhanded on towards the net and Matt Hamwood has seen enough. Both chains make line changes here as the Kolakais in desperate need to get the puck out of the zone. Shot taken there by the Wheat Kings and stopped there by Matt Hemwood. Here is Kellaway now, trying to start a rush here for the Kolakais. Here's Jane Fry. Fry with the puck. 10, 15, let's go in this third period. Puck is lobbed high in the air. And we are now exactly 10 minutes into the third period. Final 10 minutes of this hockey game. As the color guys see two quick ones, quick, quick, quick. And is this icing? Yeah, yes it is. As well, this is my skull protocol, my skull protocol. Here is Noah Cook with the puck. He'll shoot the puck around. Puck is held in there. Here's Stabler now. Stabler trying to fight his way towards that backhand. And he draws a penalty in the process. And a big power play opportunity for the Cold Lake Ice. Trying to get back in this game with 9.33 left to go here in this second period of play. And it looks like we're going to head to the media timeout. 9.33 left to go here in this third period. As I'll be back in just a sec. Oh. and our computer worker, Dylan Nagoya. Carter and Dylan have worked with Dylan diligently for the last two seasons as volunteers doing our media for the Cold Lake Ice. I think Carter's only missed one game, and that was to go to an Oilers game. So thank you to Carter Simpson and Dylan Nagoya for volunteering for your Cold Lake Ice this season. <laughs> All right, folks, ready to resume play here in this third period as the Cold Lake Ice trail 4-2, but a big opportunity here on the power play. Mason Stabler draws a penalty. So Brian Davis got two minutes for hooking, so this penalty kill is energized by Electric Services. Here is Matt Hemwood now. He'll play the puck to Reese Lewis. Lewis now with the puck. Up ahead there for Hudson. Carter Burton now will shoot the puck back out to center. 9-14, let's go in this third period. Here is Hudson. Kolekai is looking to set up on this power play. Killam's already scored one short-handed goal tonight. Shot taken there and the puck just whistled wide. Hudson with the puck. Up top for Lewis. Lewis down low to Devin Hudson. Hudson shoots, and the puck is deflected wide. Can tell. Down low for Shankowski. Shankowski gives it to Justin Hudson. Back to Lewis. Lewis shoots, and the puck whistles wide. Rebound comes right to James Dowd, and that was stopped in tight there by Brendan Davis. Can tell. Shoots. Brendan Davis fights that off, and puck is knocked into the corner. And the puck is shot out of the zone there by Tim Lyons, and he did get a line change in. 8-15 left to go in this third period. Schakowsky will go after it. Schakowsky with the puck. Here's the chance for Alette now. Alette down low for Noah Cook. Throws it towards the net, and that was blocked for it to make it through. And the puck comes back out, and it's a two-on-one. Here's Eno now. Cross ice there for Derek Zimmer, but he just cannot quite get a shot off. Picked up here by Mason Stabler, and he will carry the puck back out. Here is Noah Cook now. 
Cook skates in the zone. Cook lost handle of the puck, but Stabler picks it up. Stabler to Cook. Four seconds left to go to the power play. Shot taken there by Olitz, and the puck is right behind. Brandon Davis, and somehow that stayed out. Cold Lake High now one for four on the power play. Here's Bonnet now. Puck is held in there by Logan Carr. Here is Carter Burton now. Burton. Got back to Orton, now to Burton. Here Burton now has the puck. Burton. Gives it to Ortman. Ortman with the puck. Ortman. What a move. Ortman for the hat trick. No, he's denied. There by Matt Hamlin. Puck comes right in the crease and back come the cold Lake ice. Here is our here is Alat now. Mark Alat now. Gives it to Shikowski. Jane Williams now. Just cannot quite hold the puck in. The Cold Lake Ice are going to have to clear the zone. Shot taken there by Kobe Charchin and easy stuff there by Matt Hemwood. Here's Cantel. Denny Cantel with the puck. He'll backhand the puck in the zone. James Down now. 6.20 left to go in the third period. Jay Williams now fires it towards that. It's a Not a bad time to get your first goal. Cola Kites have got lots of time left. In the third period, the building just came alive once again. Noah Cook now gives it to Tyler Smith. Six minutes left in this third period. Battle for it on the boards. Jay Fry drops it back. Tyler Smith over skates it. So Jay Williams gets the goal. Caleb Burnett gets the assist. At 6-14. So the Cola Kais get that much needed goal, and now they're going to go for the tie. Duff will shoot the puck in. Here is Nathan Duff. Puck is thrown towards the slot, and that's broken up, and it's a two-on-one head back the other way. Here is Burton now. Burton shoots, and Matt Hemwood stands his ground and keeps up, and there is no rebound. Well, big win in the 50-50 draw. The winning... Purse is going to go home with $1,583. Big 50-50 draw tonight here in Cold Lake. As we are into the... Exactly the final five minutes left in this hockey game. Jay Williams just scored a huge goal to get his team right back in it. We are in for a finish tonight. Puck is shot back in. Here's a chance there for Devin Hudson. Back and forth the nets. Here's why Cook and Slut, and the puck is cleared. But this is going to come back on the icing call. As the Cold Ice force kill him to ice the puck. Oh my goodness.
And looks like we're going to have a timeout here. I will step aside for a sec, folks. All right, folks, ready to resume play here in this third period as the Cold Ice trail 4-3. The Cold Ice were trailing 4-1 after in the first, like, with 18 minutes left. But the Cold Ice have just cut it to 4-3 thanks to a goal by Jane Williams. Lots of nervous fans here in the seats. Here's a play there for Colby Charchin. Puck is dumped in the zone there by Tanner Eno. Noah Cook now with the puck. Here's Shankowski now. Colby Kai's looking for some late game magic. Just like what happened in game two. And here's a breakaway here for a Aston Kelly. Shoots. Glove set. What a save there. Battle for out the face off. What a shot! Wow, that was quick. And it looks like it'll be Dalton Zemanek getting the fifth goal for Killam. We're gonna go to our replay here. Holy man, did he ever let that one rip? And the Killam Wee Kings will now lead 5-3. But 346, let's go here in this hockey game. Here's Jane Williams now with the puck, and he will backhand the hand the puck up ahead. Zemanek gets the goal at 346. That goal is unassisted at 346. And a lot of Cold Lake Ice fans, a few Cold Lake Ice fans have already started to head towards the exit. Here is Justin Hudson now. Hudson now shoots and the puck deflects up and into the netting. Face off inside Killam zone. Balfour off the face off, Shinkowski. Burt now will chip it up ahead. Three minutes to go in this third period. Kolakais need two goals. Puck is lobbed up ahead. Knocked down there by Tyler Smith. Shinkowski. Fast intercept there by. Number 25, Cole Forster, and the puck deflects out of and out of play. Travel for out the face off. You know, Cook now will take it into the zone.
you know, gets knocked down. No penalty. Play continues. Cole DeKais in desperate need to get the puck in the zone. 2.20 left. Here is Shankowski now. He'll put it into the zone. See if the Cole DeKais are going to pull Matt Hemwood here. And they are. So the net is empty at the other end. Empty net here for the kick for the Cold Lake Ice. They are pulling the goaltender with 2.13 left. They're going to leave it, everything on the line now. Scrum for it off the face off one there by the Killing Wheat Kings. Aston Kelly now. Up ahead there for number 12, Dalton Zemanek, who scored the fifth goal for the Killing Wheat Kings. Justin Hudson now will fire it into the zone. Ortman now tries to get the puck out, and the puck skips back out to center. 1.42 left to go in this third period. Here's a chance here for the weekends trying to seal it. Empty net. And that misses wide. Cantel knocks it down. Here's Stabler. Stabler now. Kolek Heist trying to set up here. They've got to set something up here in the zone. And the puck is... Just comes out and we have an offside with 1.15 left. And Matt Hamlet's going to the bench with 108 left. Here is Mark Collette now. Up top for Cantel. Cantel tries to throw that down there for, for Noah Cook. And the puck comes back out. Here is Davis now. Braden Davis gets cut off there by Denny Cantel. Cantel now with 45 seconds. Let's go in this third period. And he fans on the pass. Empty net for Killam. Missed. And that's going to come back on the icing call. With 40.2 seconds left to go here in game three. And it looks like we have a timeout here by the Cold Lake Ice. As I'll step aside for just a sec, folks. Marcolette steps in the face-off circle. And Killen wins the face-off. And they're just trying to eat up the clock now. Here's Cantel. Shot taken there. Puck is knocked down. And the puck hops, hops over top of Shinkowski's sticks. 25 seconds left. And here's an empty net here. Empty net for Killam. And it goes wide. Final 15 seconds. Here is Wyatt Cook. Shoots and the puck is shot wide. Final 10 seconds. Pass is broken up and this, that will do it. The Cold Lake Ice are going to drop this one 5-3. So Killam now leads the best of seven. Two games to one and an empty net goal for Dalton Zemanek. And the final score is now going to be 6-3 for Killam. That is seven straight home losses for Cold Lake at home. In the playoffs. Folks, don't forget, Game 4 will be on Tuesday at 8 o'clock. That'll be 8 o'clock puck draw for Game 4.
26 for Killam. And that'll... And we'll have three stars of the game, and that's going to do it. All right, that is my four-hour. Three stars of the game. Your third star tonight, number three, Dave. Should Williams get the third star tonight? No Cook getting the second start tonight. And your first country star of the game, number 12, Caleb Burnett. Caleb Burnett getting the first start. That's going to do it for the Imperial Oil Place Arena. As your Colton Heist fell 6-3 to the Kill and Wheat Kings. And we will see you on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock for game four. So once again, I'm Carl Sitsa. Thank you very much for tuning in to Colton Heist TV. And I'm saying so long from the Imperial Oil Place Arena. What? Yeah. Well, aren't you doing...